Professional hockey has been a part of the Muskegon community for more than three decades. The Zephyrs, Mohawks, and Lumberjacks combined to win over 1,300 games while capturing 10 overall IHL championships and four Turner Cup playoff titles. Now there is a new chapter of hockey about to unfold. Colonial Hockey will face off at the L.C. Walker Arena in the fall of 92, and their name is the Muskegon Fury. Season ticket packages are available now at reasonable prices. Don't be checked into the boards. Call 726-5058 and get your season ticket packages now. Come out and watch the Fury continue the rich hockey success Muskegon is used to. We are back at a very loud and excited L.C. Walker Arena. And we are about to start overtime. The Muskegon Fury on a goal by Tim Fingerhut without, with an empty net on their own side, came back with four seconds to play in the third to tie the game at five. And overtime is now underway. Fingerhut. Tim Fingerhut getting a lot more ice time here tonight than he did last night in Flip. Now here's a shot by Fingerhut. Comes to Kelly. Kelly tries to make the move. And the goaltender held his ground on the short side. Kelly tried to make a move in Deke, the goaltender on the short side. Now we get a stoppage of play. It appears we have a hurt player down there. It's Tim Fingerhut down on all fours. I don't know whether we caught a high stick or not. Or whether we will see a, a penalty situation. I don't believe so. 439 left in the five minute overtime. They play five minutes. If no one scores, then they go to a shootout. Much like a showdown situation, a one on one situation with a goaltender to settle it. 5 5. What a wild third period. It was 2 1 after the first period. There was no scoring in the second. And the remaining goals all coming in that wild third period. And the crowd has got to love what they've seen here tonight. 4.30 left in overtime. And here comes the smoke to center ice. Here's a backhand in deep. Benica in there for it. Now Lyons there. Benica is hit along uh, the boards by Vachon. Vachon goes in looking for the loose puck. And it's held there for a faceoff. Well, you just can't ask for anything more than what we've seen here tonight in the home opener. And our situation, our uh, logistics right here at the L.C. Walker Arena, we are obviously right in the middle of the crowd. If you've been down here, you'll see us this year because we're going to be here on TV 40 all season long, all 60 games. Now this is Banika in the corner. Vashon hits his man. Now Hubalak. Hubalak comes in and hits his Banika. Hubotic tries to come out with it from behind his own goal. He's pulled down. You're not going to see a penalty in overtime, though, unless it's pretty blatant. At the blue line, it's Cyril. Cyril gets it to Hicks. Centering pass and a shot. Oh, what a great save. Here's the shot from the point. That score. I think McPhee got it. Who was it? It was number 23, Mike McPhee, I believe, or Wayne McPhee, that gets the overtime goal after a tremendous save by Eric Rimmel in a pile up in front of the goal. And now the fans are starting to respond and let the Fury know how much they appreciate the effort. Wayne McPhee, his second goal of the night. On a shot from the point that found its way through a crowd. with just 345 115 of overtime 345 left and the Muskegon Fury after two games have little to show for it on the record they are now 0-2 as they go off the ice here and we're seeing a dejected Eric Rimmel but he played uh, very well and I believe still is one of the three stars of this hockey game we'll take a break here at the L.C. Walker Arena the Branford Smoke win it in overtime, 6-5. to five. We'll take a break and come back and wrap things up here at the LC on TV 40 in just a minute. 7-2-2, 34 8.